Welcome to Unclean Mistakes and How to Avoid Them. I'm Stacey Jones, and today we're going to talk about three important steps in planning product placement strategy for your brand. Every brand gets excited when they get that phone call to become a star on that next great TV show or feature film or even music video. Unfortunately, time is truly of the essence. And if you don't have a product placement strategy plan in place already to seize that golden opportunity, your brand's going to be left in the dust. You may have some concerns, like whether or not the production will be a good fit, but if you take too much time to consider it, it's going to cost you. If your response is not immediate, it's likely the production will be calling on your competitors, and they're going to be seeking that next yes answer before you even have made up your mind. But there are some steps you can take to have a strategy plan in place and be at the ready to know if you even will want to move forward. So when you get that call, besides saying yes and sending product, there is so much more that you need to truly do to create a strong strategic partnership with an entertainment or celebrity partner. But these first three steps are the absolute base to the program that you'll be building if you get a hurry up or you interested in this opportunity phone call. To start, the very first thing you need to decide is how your brand's going to be seen on screen. Ask yourself and your team, how do you want the placement to paint the picture of your brand? Are there specific usages that would be ideal? What do you want to make sure is not inferred about your brand? Just as important as what you want to have inferred about your brand. You want to make sure you're protecting your brand from any source of negativity. You also want to distinguish your audience. Not only do you really need to identify your own core marketing target, but you need to understand who the viewer of the content will be, as well as the pros and cons of working with different types of genres, and you need to put in some safeguards to protect your brand identity overall. It's important to note that your first thoughts on whether a project is a good fit or not may not actually be accurate. You might actually think that one type of content is dead on right, only to realize that when you better understand who the fan base is, that it's dead on wrong. With a demographic reach, what type of consumer do you really want to reach? The production's demographics should align with yours or provide you access into a segmented demo that you're hoping to enter. You also want to look at the genre of the content. That will lead you to what type of content actually works for you or doesn't work. Really what this means is what type of property would be a good fit which you need to know before you can make that go decision. There are certain questions to ask yourself before you receive that call. So, is there a certain genre of a production that's more or less appealing? Horror or adult comedies might have scenes that are more risque or violent. Does this fit your brand's personality or do you want to run away as soon as I say the word horror or adult? You know, many brands shy away from horror in general, immediately determining that they don't want their brand to be associated with that type of emotion of the film or the show that might arise out of its viewers. However, there's actually some studies, and I'll go on into this about um, how horror actually impacts people, but it causes people to grab on to the brands and the scenes that they see. And Studies are showing that people actually have a higher affinity to brands that they see in horror films when they're scared. And it tends to be among the most rewarding investments, as consumers are way more likely to develop an attachment and remember the brands that they see when they have a heightened state of emotion. So it might be time to get over the scariness of horror if the usage is right. So once you've figured out your genres, what you don't want, what you do want, you, know, you might say, okay, now can I say yes? Only once you have all the information defined clearly in your mind can you respond. And at that point, you can start getting your brand in the spotlight before your competitors get that call. And if you truly want to create a solid strategy and protect yourself from the unknowns of Hollywood, you need to work with a strategic entertainment marketing agency who can not only handhold you, but who can also take the time to really vet out an opportunity and poke holes in it to ensure it is really the right fit for you. The benefit is that an agency with know-how will also help you know how to best add in additional bonuses you might never have asked for before from the production. I hope it was helpful and really would appreciate it if you would share any feedback. And as always, if you need a little or a lot of help, my agency, Hollywood Branded, is here to lend a hand.